a yellow one is from UT models and it has a value from 20 up to $60. So do not pay over $100 like I see them on eBay. Uh, the red one is from Hot Wheels Elite. Uh, and this one has a value from $130 up to $250. And sometimes I see them for $300, but that's a bit too much for that model. All right, let's see what you get for all that extra money. All right, let's start with a simple roll test. Oh, the yellow one is a bit sticky as you can see and the red Hot Wheels Elite oh yeah that rolls a lot better as you can see very smooth okay and now the dimensions and they appear to be exactly the same which is 23 centimeters long and um, six centimeters high which is actually very low and 10 centimeters wide okay let's check the weight and the UT model is 548 gram or 19.3 ounce and the Hot Wheels Elite, ooh, 736 gram, that's a lot heavier, or 26 ounce. Okay, let's check the suspension. We have some movement on the front and a, a tiny bit on the rear, on the Hot Wheels Elite and on the UT. No, it's completely solid. Now, let's check the bottom. Okay. Um, it's about the same. Yeah. All right, let's check out the front. Uh, the windshield wipers look about the same and they are separated from the windshield yeah now we do have uh, a real intake here on the Hot Wheels Elite we don't have that on the UT model and also something very special this one has pop-up headlights The UT model doesn't have that and you also cannot open up the frunk. Uh, you can do that on the Hot Wheels Elite. Look at that. And it's also pretty detailed in there. The ride height is also different. Uh, as you can see, I think this one is more correct. And the lights are also a little bit smaller on the UT model. Okay, now let's focus on the side. You can see that the wheels are a bit inside the fender. And also we don't have any brake calipers, so that will definitely kill you. Um, and the door lock is just a black dot. And the side marker is just a orange dot. Okay, now let's go to the Hot Wheels Elite. And immediately you can see that the Hot Wheels Elite is a lot more detailed uh, just on the wheel alone. We have disc brakes with uh, ventilated holes in there. And we actually have a brake caliper. And the uh, Ferrari uh, letters are on there. And the side marker is actually a real uh, plastic light on here. The door lock also looks a lot more detailed. And the ride height looks a lot better also. 
All right, time for the interior. Uh, let's start with the door panel. We do have a lot more detail uh, on the Hot Wheels Elite. Yeah. Now the interior on the UT model is actually not that bad. We have some details in the seats. Uh, the gear stick is there along with some buttons. Uh, some ventilation buttons, a radio, and some gauges. Yeah, it's all there. Not that bad. Uh, but on the Hot Wheels Elite, uh, it looks a lot better. And I think a lot more correct also. Oh, and the steering wheel, that's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot more details on the Hot Wheels Elite as expected. Also the ventilation itself looks a lot better on this model. And the floor uh, actually has some texture to it. The seats, oh, they feel, they feel real. And here on the side we can also see a lot more detail on the Hot Wheels Elite. Uh, even the ventilation here in the door is real. And here it's just a black square. So yeah, uh, a lot more details on the Hot Wheels Elite. Ooh, we even have a seat belt. That will come in handy in a crash. So the UT model is very dangerous. We don't have any brake calipers and no seat belts. Also the convertible roof is different. This is just hard plastic and this is a very soft uh, plastic. It, it, no, no, it's not plastic, it's rubber. So it feels real and it even has a little button here. Look at that. So much more detail. All right, let's check out the rear. Uh, the lights are different. We have some orange side markers here. We don't have that on this model. And the exhaust also looks a lot more detailed on the Hot Wheels Elite. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the engine bay. Oh, this is just plastic. And on the Hot Wheels Elite, ooh, that's metal. It weighs a lot more. And it has more detail also. And the engine bay itself, well, that's a very big difference, as you can see. But it's absolutely not bad uh, on the UT model. It's actually pretty good for this price point. But of course the Hot Wheels Elite has a lot more detail. Uh, just look at, at those hoses and even the clamps are there. That's just amazing. So is it worth the extra money? I think it is. The Hot Wheels Elite looks a lot more like the real car. It has more detail, more functions, the finish is better. Um, do you guys agree with me or am I completely wrong or do you simply don't care? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos and you all have a nice day now. Bye!